the West continues its attempts to fight the Russians with its traditional ineffective methods. This time the target was Wagner PMC. The Times reported that the UK is going to declare the Wagner PMC as a terrorist organization. Such a decision is allegedly aimed at increasing pressure on Russia. The same process is taking place in the EU, where the French National Assembly adopted a resolution calling on the country's authorities and the European Union to also declare Wagner as a terrorist organization. In 2022, Washington was reportedly considering such a decision as well. The inclusion of the Russian PMCs in the list of terrorist organizations will once again confirm that the West decides who are and who are not terrorists arbitrarily, and these decisions are completely politically biased. Terrorists are now those whom the West is simply afraid of. The head of Wagner PMC, Yevgeny Prigozhin, has reportedly responded to the attacks of the Western leaders. He claims that his PMC, in any of its actions, protects the sacred interests of Russia while observing all norms of morality. It has also fought terrorism, banditry, violation of the rights and freedoms of citizens, and will continue to do so under any circumstances. Wagner's group stopped the genocide of the Russian population in the Donbass, defeated the Islamic State in Syria in 2015 to 2017, prevented a coup in the Central African Republic, destroyed thousands of ISIS, Al-Qaeda terrorists, etc. in the Sahel, and opposed U.S. interference in elections in Russia and other countries. At the same time, Wagner is always acting according to the laws of the states where it operates in the interests of official governments, saving people from terrorists. Prigozhin stressed that Macron and Karl are just looking for hype. Their decision will not affect the activities of Russian fighters, and the media attack targeting the PMC will eventually blow back to hit Paris and London. In response to the accusations of Paris, Prigozhin recalled the crimes of French soldiers in the Central African Republic. When we came to Central Africa, the French soldiers drove dogs into rooms with children, 12-year-old girls, and the dogs raped these girls. French soldiers sent their victims to be gutted for their organs. We saved this entire country known as Central Africa, saved tens of thousands of lives from bandits, terrorists, and most importantly, from the French, who simply mocked them. The fact that the soldiers of the French Foreign Legion adopted the local method of torturing people, giving their children to dogs, and that they earned money on the black organ markets were widely known, but they were strenuously hidden by Western propaganda. The West fails to fight a fair or legal battle against Russian fighters who are armed with the weapon of truth and who do not fit any of the conditions for description as terrorists.